So, Andy, you've just uh, finished and delivered a Codex talk. What do you think of the Codex talk's format? Um, it was amazing. <laughs> I was really impressed by it. Actually, I came here today thinking, you know, when you come and you've got so many things on your mind that you need to get through. And from the first talk to the last one, I just sat there just sort of taking it all in. Oh, I like it very much because uh, we were in a fascinating group and we got to do the talks and then have a discussion, which is always nice. Well, I really enjoyed it. it, it it's one of those where you have to be very concise, you have to hit the top points and then answer the questions that come from that. So great to be in the audience and actually listen to, to so many other talks and to, uh, to hear about so much exciting new science and new technology that's developing in the world. Uh, I love this format where you have different approaches combined together. So it's an occasion to really stay in touch with uh, completely different people and disseminate uh, recent results. Well, this is my first time being here. I came to talk about my student team and I thought it was a really nice format. They're nice and short. Fascinating way of engaging the, the audience around a with provocative questions and some bold statements about the future. Each of the talks had their own character, which I really liked, and that added something very special. Formats where lots of smart, interesting people from all different disciplines get in a room and talk about their stuff. It did require, you know, I had to do a, a a bit of practice to make sure I stayed on uh, on time. And that really generated a lot of a uh, very deep discussion, both between the speakers and the audience. But the subjects are all very well uh, tightly coupled, so that there's a lot of transversal topics between us, and then a good Q and A. So yeah, it's worked really well. Requires that people speak very directly to an audience, and in this case, a very elite audience. And it was quite an honor and pleasure to do so.